emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up, Shut up and sit down. down. Hello, gang. Calling here for Mr. 67's workshop. Welcome to part four of the e-models built of the Honda CBR RRR Fireblade. And yes, we're giving a bit of the old gloss black over everything today. So we're going to start off with a bit of time in the spray booth, just so that you can see what I've been up to. And I'm just misting over these with the airbrush, using my Apex there. And I'm using the lacquer paints. Uh, all the paints that I'm using in this build are shown at the end of each video. So I'm just going over bits and pieces on the sprues there that are going to come off. Engine covers, things like that. So I'm giving them a coat. And then we're going to come over and start putting on some of the um, mica and titanium silvers. So yeah, so we'll be spraying up all the engine parts, exhausts, frame, wheels, all of that today. Getting the base coats down. So I'll put a bit of titanium silver over the exhaust. And I'll put a few coats of this on. Because this will then be getting heat stained at the end of this episode. So I want to make sure I get all the paint in all the little areas where the welds are and the nooks and crannies where the pipes join. So we'll get on and do that. Give it a nice even coverage. And it's going down really well, this paint, I must admit. It's the first time I've used this uh, LP range and uh, yeah, I'm really liking it. So I'll just mist over a few more areas and put a wet coat down, like so. Just go around put that to one side and then we'll get uh, the engine and other bits and pieces done so go over this again with some silver like so and the thing with the engine you've got loads of little crevices and recesses and all of that and I will try and get most of them but some of them I'm actually going to deliberately just put a fine coat over and then that will become like a shadow effect or where a bit of dirt might have got so almost like a mini bit of weathering so just scoot the block round and round and it's the same then with the other components there the triple trees get them all done folks all the uh, ecu and the airbox so we can start getting some black on that and there's semi-gloss blacks and matte blacks going down so we'll finish this little bit off and then last but no means least we've got a little bit of the seat to do so i'm just going to mist over that with a bit of rubber black like so just to catch all the edges of it and give it a nice even coat all over like so and remember as well just to do the little uh, tiny rear seat as well for the pillion passenger and then like I say you've got the both the rubber black bits then right we're now going over to mask the exhaust and it's a little trick that I've got that I use for me tape now if you look at the um, weld lines on the exhaust they're about a millimeter in thickness now my hobby knife has got two blades in it side by side and what that enables me to do is that enables me to get a nice one mil width of tape cut that is parallel all the way down its length so if you look at that i'm sliding the tape between the blades so there's two blades in there peeps right and it does it saves you a lot of time because we've all done it where you get wonky lines in your masking tape so if i reach over and grab a sharpie and then i'll color this bit of tape in just so that you can see the contrast because uh, obviously it's a bit difficult to see against the cut in that so I'll just quickly put a bit of black down there bunk that out of the way and then we'll cut a strip of tape off so just press the scalpel in there like you normally would and just run it along the length of the tape like so and then just flick a little bit off the edge like that just try to lift it up 
I might use my fingers to do this folks and that will give you a nice little strip of tape just like that see against my finger hey. yeah and it's a nice nice little parallel cut that's along there see? get the old pointy stick out you should just be able to see it just like that and this is the tape that we use to put against all the welds of the exhaust so I'll just back it around this bit of stick just to let you see what I mean so some of you might not know this little trick probably some of you do so you know it's nothing new it's just what I do to to help me out okay. and as you work that around it's perfectly parallel all the way around it's lovely there you go folks see you've learnt something top tips from Festa get in so we'll carry on now and we'll start cutting some strips of tape around this so that I can start masking all the exhaust up and I'm doing all the weld lines that go round the pipes as well as some of the ones that go along where the two pipes join into one section so quite a bit of masking so just take your time and be careful with it because the temptation is is to to really rush it and get you know get the job done but i did this over a period of time where i could just do a few bits let the tape adhere and then before i handled the exhaust again i could just rub the tape down and then put some more bits on have a breather so that's all i'm gonna do folks just lift a line that's a piece that can go there for a sec and then we'll grab me other scalpel and try and put some bits on okay. and there's one weld seam already done there peep see and the tape just wraps right round it so let's have a look and see where I can see some welds so it's definitely some in the uh, collector box and you've got some big ones there where the pipes come out of the engine block so we'll get quite a few welds on this so we'll grab our bit of tape, like so, and then deftly try and hold it with your thumb, like that, right against the weld seam, and just twist the exhaust round and start getting it to stick. You might have to peel it off a couple of times to get it to stick, but it will go. And the key to this is patience, folks. It does take a little while but this is one of them little jobs nice little job to do late in the evening nice little relaxing thing to do then you just cut the tape where it overlaps and then we can pick that bit off of there then and that will let us have a nice little join just like that and then just press the end against the other piece of tape under it with your blade and I tend to go round these with a bit of a cotton bud once they're, they're on there just to try to roll the tape into place so we'll just work our way along now bit by bit pipe by pipe and yeah probably take about an hour there or thereabouts because I tend to have a, a rest every now and then just to let the tape settle because you know you do get a bit where you're touching the exhaust you know you get the uh, oils from your skin on there so I'll wipe the exhaust down and then I'll do some more see so you can definitely get uh, a piece of tape in there on that weld like so just wind it all the way around just like that happy days as you can see by the magic of time lapse there's quite a few of these welds done and then I've got one just on the silencer box there that I want to do right around that leading edge there and it is it's really quite effective because this tape will stay on right to the very end of the weathering process and then uh, it will then reveal the titanium silver uh, paint and it will just look like weld weld seams basically and then just give that a dab with your finger 
to get that bit of tape in place around that edge there, like so. Hey, coming along nicely, if I may say so myself. Like that. Get me spudger out, just to put the ends together, try and manipulate them so that they're in line, so that when I pull that piece along, it now sits down on top of the piece just below it and creates a nice weld line, like that. So, I think that should cover the masking for you peeps put that down and then we can start getting ready for the exhaust staining but quite a few welds there persevere with it and take your time there's time spent at this stage yeah it's time well spent so we'll get ready now to start a bit of heat staining so we'll grab the paint and I'm using rubber black and clear orange around the tape edges on this just so that you get a little bit of a darker orange against the weld lines where it's heated the exhaust and it's just a matter of lightly misting it over the tape just to try and knock the edges get a bit of colour down and just work your way along each little piece of tape just to cover the welds well, some of the welds that are close together you know you're going to overlap so just take your time and just mist it that's all you want to do work your way along the weld along the tape there and like I say you get a bit of tip dry so lower your air pressure down and just keep an eye on that and then every now and then just pull your needle back just to clean the tip give it a little blast on your tissue paper and then go back at it and you'll start seeing it build up in layers so your initial pass might not catch it as much as you want but you can be the judge on how dark you want to go and then it's just subtle blends working your way along the edges of the tape like that and then the same when you're coming around the pipe bends on the internal edges I go a little bit heavier just to try and create a shadow where road dirt might have accumulated and dried on the exhaust that sort of thing and just gently work your way along excuse my twitches like so and then try and knock along the edges of the welds on the internal areas like so just like that gently caress the exhausts and it will start taking shape just have a quick looky loo just to make sure I'm happy with what uh, I'm seeing there and then we can come back for a second coat now on these front edges I'll work my way along there just like that and again it takes a little while but it's just just therapeutic sitting here I mean this is what 3am just sitting here painting these in my own little world <laughs> but uh, yeah and remember as well you know pop over to the guys at eModels have a looky loo at their paints and things like that and grab yourself one of these kits so you can build along with us um, pop up to emodels.co.uk and have a look install so just come along that edge there just like that and then a little bit more around the leading edge of the silencer box just to give a bit of shadow going into the other pipes there where they enter into the silencer like that let's have a look a bit more along them edges now just to darken them up just enough ready for the next stage so i'm reasonably happy so far so i'll just put that over the back there 
and then we're now going to go for clear orange and this is airbrushed into different overheated areas so you, you've got choices here just think of the layout of the pipes and then you just want to put some neat clear orange now in some of the some of the parts just just before uh, the welds on the next piece of pipe start so you'll have blue in at the beginning and then it will fade into the orange and that's just the same process now random areas of the exhaust leading edge of the collector box that sort of stuff and then a little bit going up underneath there where it's caught the heat and it's just expanded along the pipe there like that because a little bit of leftover clear orange can go back in the pot give me airbrush a clean and i'm just running a bit of lacquer thinners through the airbrush or acrylic thinners should i say through the airbrush between each uh, paint just to clean it out ready for the next one so we've got a bit of clear red there let's give that a shake like so and then we pour some of that into the airbrush there and start pulling that through and then we can put a bit of clear red on and this is same process just pull the red through and again it's clear red airbrushed up to different overheated areas folks as written on screen there so we're just pulling that through Get rid of the last little bits of orange there like that and the red's now quickly coming through so not too fast if it picks up a little bit of orange that may be uh, still left in the airbrush because it'll just help it blend together and have a look at your pipes and go righty oh let's put a bit of red in now and again just ghost it over gently does it like so across the pipes just quickly give me needle a quick pull there you go work myself up the front of the collector box there and it will start blending together now I can see this quite clearly in front of me but whether or not this is actually coming out on camera is a different matter so hopefully it is to work our way around underneath these bends and then back up towards where the pipes would go into the engine and it's beginning to take shape for me so I'm, I'm quite happy at the moment I'll just blend that right where them bends are along the knuckles where the welds are like so and it should just start melting or mixing the colours together as it overlaps the previous colour you've put down. Or try to randomise it as much as you can. Work your side way along the side there. A little bit of red along there. And it's a shame really because you go to all of this and then you've got a radiator going in front of these pipes and the fairings going on so you're actually not going to see that much of it but us modelers we know it's there but there's going to be that one angle that you look through the fairing where you can see the exhaust and you'll be glad you've done this so I'll just put a little bit of uh, airbrush cleaner through there just to pull out the red and the orange now because I'm going to be going in with a bit of blue in a moment so let's just give that a quick quick shift the out of there get rid of uh, the excess like so and I am wearing a respirator whilst I'm doing this folks this is a voiceover just in case you're wondering but uh, yeah I've got me extractors going and me windows open but just wipe the inside of the cup out and then we can come back and do the final bit of blue Let's put the lid on that because I'm bound to knock it over and we don't want to do that. And grab some blue. Give it a shake and then we'll put a nice bit of blue on these exhausts and you'll be able to see then 
the end result once they're done. No, folks. So we've got clear blue, been airbrushed to different overheated areas again. It's the same process, but different colour. Put that at the back there, just so that I don't catch it. Spray on with the tissue there, just to start bringing the paint out. Like so. Start seeing the blue come through. Like that. There you go. That's what we're after. I'm just adjusting the airbrush slightly with the uh, valve on the side. Just, just to get it at the consistency I want it to come out. I think we'll be pretty much ready to go now. check on that and then we can start let's have a look where are we going to start this bad boy I know let's, let's just go underneath and have a look quick test there it is and then just come up the front of them pipes like so like that same just in there work our way along just flicking the airbrush as I go and then work our way underneath these bits here where they go into the collector box just like that and then we can work our way along underneath underneath that edge there And start fading it along the pipe then so that it just fades out into the clear orange and again just scoot along the inside here just to capture the blue across these pipes as well so whilst I'm doing that remember folks uh, pop over to the guys at eModels go and have a look at what's in store grab yourself one of these bikes if you want to build one with me uh, all the paints and consumables have kindly been supplied by eModels for this build. So, yeah, grab yourself a kit and have a go. We'll just quickly work our way along here. Like that. Up along there. And we're just fading away towards the front of the collector box on the inside there. And again, you can do as much of this as you want. You know, the exhaust pipes will be in front of you. So if you think you've done enough, leave it and uh, less is more. So, yeah. I'm quite happy with how these are coming out. Knowing what bits are going to be visible when the bike goes together as well. So, yeah, I know roughly what areas are going to be seen. So, yeah, we can round off with a nice dapper looking set of exhausts there's more than one way to do this peeps but this is how i do mine it works for me i like the results that it gives me so i think we're getting close to wrapping up this episode so keep an eye out on the e-models uh, YouTube for upcoming build series a lot of the builders are catching up with some videos so there's going to be a lot of content coming soon I'm going to let all of this dry and then when we come up for the next episode I'm going to be putting a lot of this together so pop over to guys at eModels go and give them a visit share the love and I will see you for part 5 of the Honda CBR RR Fireblade build. Take care, peeps. Stay safe and tune into the eModel show every Monday with me, Festa, Fox, Chris, and Ted. Bye bye for now.